Revelation 16 13 to 14 Mark of Armageddon Revelation 16 13 to 14 13 And I saw coming out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet, three unclean spirits like frogs, 14 For they are spirits of demons, performing signs, which go out to the kings of the entire world, to gather them together for the war of the great day of God, the Almighty. Thought the book of Revelation is primarily spiritual and has very little literal meaning. All the events have a spiritual sense, and trying to understand it like a worldly book will deceive a person and be lost. The devil has been getting ready for Armageddon ever since he was cast out of heaven, and he had his demons follow him. At the battle of Armageddon, is very easy to know the dragon is the devil. Scripture says so in Revelation 12. Revelation 12 9 And the great dragon was thrown down, the serpent of old who is called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. The devil's war started in heaven, and he was cast down to earth, and he continued his war against God's people, Revelation 12 3-17. That war is not just on recently or in the future, but ever since the fall of Adam and Eve, and they saw it when their oldest son killed his younger brother, Genesis 4 8. The devil had demons on his side, but other followers, like Cain, refused to worship God. Nimrod joined the devil's side as well, he was the great grandson of Noah. He went out to build cities and nations, like the Empire of Babylonia. The purpose of the building was so that within great empire fortress, the citizens of those nations would be more dependent on kingdoms of earth and less on the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Most empires control a massive amount of area, so they are beast-like powers. Even the United States of America is beast-like power. Any event that happens in the USA affects the entire world. The USA even has a government policy that makes people slaves to its system. False prophets join the devil and the beast, they need him. If a fake holy man teaches what the dragon and beast teach is true, then many people will join the battle against God. According to scripture, the false teaching is a battle that looks like amphibious frogs, which frogs are unclean animals. The false teachings are a combination of lies like the law was abolished. December 25th is Christ's birthday, Sunday is the Sabbath. The church has been lying about for years. The USA says one nation under God, but they are not any nation following the word of God. Christians will give praises to Donald Trump or Ronald Reagan more the God. Other Christians will exalt Bill Clinton or Barack Obama even when he said the USA isn't a Christian nation. False prophets help the dragon and beast. Church will allow social groups to take place in their so-called house of God, a group like Black Lives Matter, which clearly states that they support same-sex unions on their official website. They call abortion a woman's right and not murder. So, the battle of Armageddon is the combination of these three powers, is to unleash blasphemous lie after lie against God's truth. This gains followers to the dragon and the beast because those people want to serve God but still live by what they see as right or wrong to themselves. This battle is not to win against God, but the devil wants to take as many of those God made to hell with him because he knows the Lord hates to see his children suffer. But he has no choice. They refuse his authority. The followers of Satan hurt the saints of God. So, he consumes all with fire from heaven, blows them all way like ashes? Ask yourself, brothers and sisters, are you reading and studying your Bible? Will you be ready with it your sword and shield when the devil comes to deceive you? I hope you are and if you need help, reach out to me. God bless you all, the Lord loves you, and so do I. Samuel H. Isaiah 13 6 Wail, for the day of the Lord is near. It will come as destruction from the Almighty. 7 Therefore all hands will fall limp, and every human heart will melt. A they will be terrified, pains and anguish will take hold of them. They will writhe like a woman in labor. They will look at one another in astonishment, their faces aflame. 9 Behold, the day of the Lord is coming, cruel with fury and burning anger, to make the land a desolation, and he will exterminate its sinners from it. 10 For the stars of heaven and their constellations will not flash their light. The sun will be dark when it rises and the moon will not shed its light. 11 So I will punish the world for its evil and the wicked for their wrongdoing, I will also put an end to the audacity of the proud and humiliate the arrogance of the tyrants, 